Jacob equals 31. So J A C O B. Those letters, according to their places in the alphabet, equals 31. And Jacob is a name in the Bible, but I can tell you right now I'm not religious. And Jacob in the Bible is not the one I'm thinking of when I see the name Jacob. I'm thinking of Jacob Wetterling, who was nonetheless a Christian. He was a Christian boy, or he was his family were Christian. So, doubtlessly, Jake did believe in God and all that stuff. And I was raised a Catholic, but I have to say, uh, in my case, I've rejected my faith because... Well, maybe not my faith, but I've rejected my religion. And that's just because there's too many hypocrites in Australia. Um, on the conservative side of politics, I don't like either side of politics these days. One's really politically correct and the other one's really racist and nasty. And I just don't like either major party in Australia. And I don't like religion in general. Because it's historically it's just been used to control people and manipulate people and make people feel guilty. So, not big on it. And I dare say Jake, after he got kidnapped and he was in the back of the car and headed somewhere with a stranger, handcuffed and not knowing what was going to happen and then to be sexually molested and then to have his life end with a guy shooting him. I know there was a point there where Jake said, what did I do wrong? He asked, what did I do wrong? Which is a heartbreaking question for an 11 year old boy to ask the guy who kidnapped him, molested him, so sexually assaulted him, sexually abused him, and then murdered him. It's pretty bad that a boy would be asking, what did I do wrong? problem with religion is it puts that idea in your head that if if something goes wrong you're being punished if you're not being punished by a parent or by a teacher then you're being punished by God and that's why I reject religion I look at the refugees who are locked up in detention and I think yeah well they're being punished for what what did they do wrong it's a question that a lot of people ask Nathan Breeze he died in the Black Saturday bushfires and that's one of the dates that I'm about to show you on my list of dates is the 7th of February and anyone in that situation realizing you're about to die what did I do wrong what am I being punished for and that's an idea that comes from religion that if you upset God he'll 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 punish you and the Bible is full of that it's full of that guilt tripping stuff. So is the Quran and so is every religious holy book in the world. So today is 31 days, the value of Jacob. Some people play around with this stuff, numbers, symbolism, gematria, all kinds of stuff they play around with to prove that God is real. Religion is real and you should be obedient and you should follow the Bible. I would suggest that being a good person does not equal following the Bible. It often means doing the opposite to following the Bible. So, today, Tuesday the 6th of February 2018, it's 31 days away from Friday, the 9th of March 2018. And that's a pretty symbolic date because I've asked the question here, which bad boy was born on the 6th of the 9th in 2002? Which boy is a psychic reflection of Jacob Wetterling in terms of not just his personality but his spirituality, sexuality, his interests. Have faith, Josh 10, 945. That was a message I saw on Saturday, 12th of May, 2012. So quite some time ago, I connected this message to a boy named Josh, because I didn't know too many Joshes. I did know a boy named Josh, who was 11 going on 12, so around the same age that Jake was when Jake died. And there's a boy who I feel is a reflection of Jake, who was also around the same age as Jake, when he told me that Wetterling 
The name Wetterling actually means weather child. Wetterling. Wetter is German for weather. Hurricane Harvey made landfall on San Jose Island at 9.45 p.m. Hit Rockport in Texas at around 10 p.m. And that was on the 25th of August. It was a Friday. There's a few Fridays in my list of dates here. Hurricane Jose formed on the 6th of the 9th, 2017, so last year formed on the same date that Irma was wreaking havoc as a 185 mile per hour super hurricane, I guess you'd say. And uh, the strongest ever to make landfall in the Atlantic was Irma. So there's six dates that I've listed previously and they've come and gone and different things have happened on all these dates which I have talked about in other videos. And tomorrow is Wednesday the 7th of February 2018 and that is the anniversary of the Black Saturday bushfires in which Nathan Breeze died. Nathan was 13. He died along with his little sister Tegan, his older sister Amy, and his mom, Tina. And 169 other people died on that same day. And that's why I, another reason why I reject my religion is because an awful lot of Christians in Australia have chosen to embrace the mentality of climate change denial, which I find really bizarre given the amount of not just severe weather events, but killer weather events that have happened in the last 12 months alone. It's pretty bad. And to just arrogantly say, eh, I don't care about climate change, or I don't believe in climate change, as if you've got the right to say you don't believe in something. Uh, as if your opinion has more weight than huge bodies of scientific research. It's kind of the height of arrogance when you think about it. So, the anniversary of Black Saturday falls on a Wednesday, falls on tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, February 6th, so tomorrow is Wednesday, February 7th. So it will be nine years since Black Saturday, since Nathan Breeze lost his life, along with, like I said, two of his sisters and his mom. Nathan's older sister was Amy. Jacob Wetterling also had an older sister named Amy. And I connected the two boys some time ago. Spiritually, they didn't know each other in life. They died a long time apart, opposite sides of the planet. Friday 9th of February occurs obviously one month before Friday 9th of March. It's actually 28 days because it's February going to March. So 28 days later, it will be Friday the 9th of March again. Friday the 16th of February, well, 1 in 67. It's the anniversary of Ash Wednesday, falling on a Friday. The anniversary of Black Friday, 13th of January, fell on a Saturday. And the anniversary of Black Saturday falls on a Wednesday. So these are the upcoming dates that I'm seeing, are dates to watch for signs in nature. Signs when there will be a message for a couple of different people. One of them was born on the 9th of March, Saturday the 9th of March. 1991 and the other one was born on Friday the 6th of September in 2002 and I've got three supplementary dates and I tried to explain why I've got supplementary dates as, as in these dates may not be as important but it may actually have more to do with the fact that throughout my childhood I was very confused looking at the Tats Lotto results and wondering why do they have supplementary numbers? So I decided to have some supplementary dates. One of them is Saturday the 10th of February. 
Saturday the 10th of February, obviously it's one day after Friday the 9th, and Saturday, well it's the day of the week that um, I'm talking about in relation to the anniversary of Black Saturday, so it's actually the closest Saturday to the anniversary on the 7th of February. Then Sunday the 11th, well the symbolism there is obvious because Jake was 11 years old and he died on a Sunday. And Saturday the 7th of February is again really obvious because it's a week after the 10th, it's also Jake's birthday and he would have turned 40 this year had he not been murdered aged 11. So that's why I chose those three dates, supplementary dates. And that's about it. That's the prophecy as it stands. And it's now 12.45 p.m. on February 6th. Um, if we zip around the world to Jakarta, not far around the world, mind you, just a little bit, across the world a bit, basically to the other side of Australia, and up, well, you'll see that it's 8.45 a.m. on Tuesday, 6th of February, 2018. In Jakarta. J for Jakarta. J for Jacob. And we are 31 days away from Friday, 9th of March, which is when I think the big sign is going to be on that date.